Yeah, so you, f you follow me? Yeah. yeah. This is my son. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Um, so yeah, this is this, uh, this is a tab of foil. Okay. Uh, that's yeah. And, and this is interesting because the, these foils are now so big that you need special fenders. Yeah. To to keep it off the dock. <laughs> yeah, that's a big story uh, for docking with the with the boat. Uh, so now the the yeah, the, uh, the foil is lifted, full lifted. Uh, but it's still uh, very wide. Uh, we have two uh, two big, uh, three big angles on it. Uh, so between the, the very long uh, tip with with, with uh, uh, a straight one. And this is the head of it. Yeah, we're looking at right here. Yeah. Coming, yeah. So they are so long that uh, uh, you need to cross them. You can't lift uh, both uh, together. So these are uh, very considerably bigger than the last generation and more powerful foils, right? Yes, a lot. Uh, okay. There's no comparison, uh, and and all the boat is designed around this. So the hull uh, uh, is uh, is not uh, not powerful at all. Uh, the back of the boat is is really round one, uh, uh, compared to a classically Mokau, which is quite square. So all the power is coming from the from the foil. Um, the Imoka rules allows us to. Uh, uh, to trim the to trim the board in uh, two dimensions, so it's uh, up and down, and it's forward and aft. So we have a, a small ram inside the case on the bearing, on the top bearing. Uh, uh, is that uh, help us to uh, to move the the tip of the foil forward and aft? So we are raking the tip uh, to have more or less uh, drag on it. Uh, so we found uh, some uh, setups which are quite okay, and uh, we achieved to uh, to do good days uh, with uh, speed uh, like more uh, 40 knots for a few hours. So yeah, it's, 40 knots. Uh, yeah, 30, three zero. Sorry, 30. <laughs> but that's not bad. <laughs> but that's not bad for a monohull. Uh, so yeah, that's that's a new era. So uh, the rule allows us uh, to have uh, eight sails on board, no more. Uh, including uh, including a storm jib. Uh, so the call is uh, around three or four uh, sails for a downwind. Uh, depends if it's uh, strong or, or medium or light wind. So we have uh, actually on Charal we have a set of uh, uh, 12 sails and uh, we have to choose for the fastnet. For example, we will choose tomorrow morning just before the start of the race. So you, you sheet the as the upwind sails on the outriggers, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, for the downwind sails for the A2 and A3, you sheet it on these big uh, pools. It's like on the Vol on the Volvo boat, but uh, they are, uh, I think, uh, twice bigger, twice longer. You look, you're looking at uh, where I will spend my life uh, during two and a half months for the Vendée Globe. Uh, as I said, um, sailing this boat is quite intense and. Uh, you really need to um, to trim the boat all the time, so you're outside. Uh, uh, I, I mean, 80% uh, of your time. Yeah. Uh, Why well you, you you don't steer uh, that often? Uh, you steer to fill the boat and uh, to to be sure you have uh, the good uh, the good setup, uh, or uh, sometimes upwind or really downwind with the A2. Uh, uh, the rest of the time, uh, the automatic pilot uh, steers like much better than you so and and here you have um all your yeah that's it we have the bng uh, electronic uh, uh, system uh, including the autopilot the, the autopilot never scared like like you can be so if it goes a uh, 35 knots uh, it keeps going straight away uh, compared to you sometimes you you bow down a bit just to slow down so uh, so yes, uh, autopilot, autopilot is really important. We have the, the four, uh, well, two, two per side uh, uh, air uh, arcane air winch, winches, uh, and uh, with the grind, uh, the stain phase uh, grind, and all the halyards uh, on all uh, the trimming uh, system for the front sails are coming here on uh, constrictors. Uh, and all the well, it's quite it's quite simple. You have a system of trigger for all the the clutch uh, on the bow sprit uh, or for the foils. Yeah, because it's very difficult to uh, to stand up on the boat uh, because it's quite violent. Uh, I mean the 
the foils are, are, are quite good in the rough seas. It's like uh, it slows the movements of the boats, but when the but the boat is faster and when the boat stops, it's very violent. So it's better not to uh, to stand up. You so you sit air, or you are on your knees uh, between uh, between the two uh, the two sides. So really important to have everything everything under your hands, uh, the screens, uh, the autopilot uh, remote. Uh, the winches, uh, sometimes uh, the food and the and the the water. So and you don't move uh, that much from uh, from here. But when uh, the foil come out come out of the sea, then the boat fall from uh, very high. So that is very brutal. So yeah. So in average, it's better. But uh, when you put out the uh, when the foil, the you you like uh, uh, launching on the on a wave. Uh, then uh, it's very brutal. Yeah. So you have to be very careful on board that you don't get an injury, get thrown around. Yeah. So you never, uh, yeah, you never like I'm, I am uh, right now, stand up uh, in the middle of the boat. Otherwise, you just uh, do a three meter uh, jump. So uh, this is the yeah. invisible change that we wouldn't see that's happened in this class. Is the physical. Um, experience of, of racing these boats? Yes, there are much more injuries uh, f since a few years. I think that, uh, uh, that's about the boats, but that, that is about the level of the fleet too. Uh, it's much more engaged and uh, it's, it's much more physical because uh, the boats are on the sailors are much more closer uh, the one to the other. I mean, uh, obviously it doesn't scare you on Julie or you wouldn't be doing it, but um, it's a kind of a slightly frightening prospect when you know what can happen right yeah it can be yeah but uh, you know racing the volvo i think uh that's the worst so uh, that's that's worse than this yeah i think yeah because the boat was uh, always is always the, the, the volvo 65s they are always under the water you yeah. are always wet at least you have protection here yeah you are well protected and uh and well, and it's it's quicker, so <laughs> it's get there faster. Yeah, you're faster, so it's less time on the water. You have everything you need, so the computer, all the comms, uh, radar, uh, uh, third uh, autopilot remote, the kill uh, remote, um, well VHF obviously. So everything is quite uh, like here, and uh, moving from one side to the other. So when you are in your bank. Uh, you can have all the screens uh, under your eyes and uh, when you're sailing on a, when you're outside so like you are seated now uh, you move it and you have uh, it in front of you at the beginning of the race is, is not that fast uh, going to the Scilly Island it's quite slow so maybe no foil for, uh, for, uh, for us uh, we use the, the foil from uh, 8 knots uh, 8 knots boat speed and uh, and then it really helps you uh, from uh, 12 to 13 knots boat speed and after uh, you go quicker and quicker so the first part of the race is not uh, good for our foilers but after uh, up and down from the fast net it's uh, reaching uh, with uh, 20 knots of, of wind so that will be very very uh, quick uh, so we are waiting for for this